Jays Extra. The Anglers Extra pregame show continues from Doran Park. Ian Unsworth standing in the sand right beside the field. It's time for Catch the Day. Alex McFarland, Chatham right-handed pitcher, joins us. Alex, we're dealing with some weather during the pregame. Yeah. We got thunder showers coming in, thunder, lightning. Players that were taking infield and outfield were just pulled off the field. Mm -hmm. How does this guy change your guys' mindset? Um, you know, we just got to stay ready to play. You know, we drove all the way out here to Bourne. Might as well play. You know, we're, we're here, we're ready to win. So, we might as well play. We're not trying to play on our off day. So, let's be honest. That's what happens. If a game gets postponed here, it gets pushed to your off day. That's yeah. a day of beach that gets taken away for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. We're just here. You know, we're out here ready to play. We're not trying to get canceled out here, even though the clouds are looking pretty bad. So, we've had some cancellations in the past two days. Well, on Wareham, the lights go out. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, I haven't seen anything like that. It was kind of weird, you know, but um, as a pitcher, it looked like I could see, but obviously I'm not a hitter, so that's never seen that before. And then last night you got the fog, which might have yeah. impacted visibility even more. Yeah, you know, we were out in the pen and then all of a sudden we just couldn't see the other field, like other side of the field. We couldn't see the other pen and right. And um, I was here last year, so it happened last year. I actually got fogged out. But um, the fog did impact us, obviously. Like some foul balls were hit up in the air. We had no idea where it went, but we ended up playing the whole thing out. So impressively did that. So which was worse, the fog you saw last night or the fog you saw last year? Uh, the fog I saw last year, you know, like this, this, this year it just stopped mid game. But uh, last year it just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So last year. You mentioned last year with the Chatham A's. What has changed in your experience from year one to year two? Uh, nothing has really changed. You know, I love Chatham. I love the anglers. I love the staff. Um, just came up here with the same mentality, you know, just to get better, you know, help the team win. That's the same mentality. Did Tom Holiday have to convince you to come back, or were you knocking no. at his door ready to go? No, I was ready to go. I wanted to come right back here. It's the best place in the Cape, in my view. So that's, yeah. What makes it the best place in the Cape? Uh, you know, the. Probably the location, I'd say the weather on Chatham's side, uh, accessibility to beaches and all the other goodies in the Cape, so I think it's the best. What's your favorite thing to do at the beach? Uh, just chillax and hang out with the guys, you know, just chill out, nothing, nothing much. I don't like to go in the water, there's sharks, you know, the seals out there, so I'm not trying to not trying to go in the water with those guys. So. You and Joe Puccio both. Yeah. Broadcast partner Joe Puccio is also a guy that does not go in the ocean water. You go to Miami. Do you prefer uh, the Chatham Beach or the beaches down in South Florida? Beaches down in South Florida because there's not massive sharks, you know, like this one, especially because the food swims right next to you. So, nah, nah, you're not going in the water up here. So. You've seen a lot of Miami teammates throughout your time in the Cape League. Last night you played against Hyannis shortstop Dominic Patelli. Did you get to talk to him all at pregame, no. postgame? No, I didn't get to talk to him at all, really. No, but I, I texted him after the game, but that's pretty much it. What's the best part about seeing your college teammates elsewhere around the Cape? Just seeing how they're doing, you know, seeing how they're doing somewhere else as opposed to school. You know, school's different than uh, summer ball, obviously, so it's good to catch up with some of the guys. What's your favorite thing about this year with your Chatham experience? Um, honestly, it's just being with the team, you know, having fun, getting better every day. You know, we have a new coach in here, Jay, because uh, Cookie's on leave right now. But um, it's always it's always fun up here. I can't complain. What's the difference between Jay Powell and Dennis Cook, who, by the way, is on safari in Africa? Yeah, no, there's. You know, not much difference between them. Maybe Cookie's a little more country, but uh, they play on the same World Series team together, and uh, they both share the same amount of knowledge. So it's just once more country, I think, personally. <laughs> so that's all, yeah. Not much difference between Jay Powell and Dennis Cook. Alex McFarland <laughs> is learning from them both. Alex, thanks for coming on Catch Today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.